So we all agree that the jungle tour sounds amazing, right? Yes. 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 But guys, you know my parents. They can't allow unless it's something official or a school tour. That's the problem. We really want you to come, Alice. Mm, what if we tell them it's a school tour? We could make it sound legit. Like we'd still check with the school to confirm. Which school are doing to the day? Maybe you can figure something out from there. They know Mr. Roberts, the vice principal. Okay. We need to get Mr. Robert on our side at half. Leave that to me. I got a plan. Students, what brings you here? Hi, Mr. Roberts. We're asking for a favor. Like, we want to go for a jungle tour, but Alice's parents are not going to accept unless it's a school program. So, we needed a, a favor. We're hoping you could help us make it look like a school trip. Hmm, that's quite a request. Why should I help you in this? Because it means a lot to Alice, and we promise to be responsible. Plus, it will be a great experience for us. But I'm sorry, I can't get involved in this. It's against the school policy. What if we offer you something? What do you mean? How about 500 again? This is highly inappropriate. But... All right, I'll cover you, but be careful. Dear, thank you so much, Mr. Roberts. Can we have your account number? Create an itinerary and follow the rules. I can't you trust in me. Oh my god. I can't believe this is happening. Thank you so much, you guys. We got you. So happy. No problem, Alice. Mm -hmm. We are going to have an amazing time. Cool. <laughs> so, guys, mm -hmm. let's get started on that itinerary. Okay. We need to make it real. Right. One thing, I just missed you. I missed you more, you know? Mm -hmm. I was thinking about you. That is sweet. <laughs> oh, but uh, there's some perfect there, some cardboard. Yeah. He was disturbing me. You tell me what? Tell he me told what? me that he wants to be his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. That I'm the only being in his room. Oh, you know what? Next time he touches you, okay? You tell me. I will. I'll beat him up. Yeah, I can't even show you. It's okay. He's always moving around. Yeah, you show me. Then I'll give him a warning. Yeah. I'll box him up. You okay? should beat him because he's over disturbing me. I mean, I only love you. And I also love you too. Because uh -huh. you're the only person that my heart beats for. <laughs> <laughs>
You look excited. Mm. What? What's up? We are planning to have a jungle tour. Would you like to join us? Yes, of course. Why are you leaving us out? Wow. This is perfect. We're now a big team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a women's league meeting and I'll be back later. Please take care of the home, okay? And your dad will be back shortly. In case he needs anything, please be of her. Okay, but mom, there is something I want to tell you. Yes, please. What is it? The, the school has organized a trip this weekend and uh, I would love to participate. About the trip, your dad called me. And he told me Mr. Roberts informed him and he, he's aware. But um, I have no problem with it, my daughter. You'll go for it. Thank you. That's my baby. Thank you, Mama. Mm -hmm. Ah, here he comes. Welcome back, Welcome Daddy. Back, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think I'm now good to go. Okay, Mom. Daddy, come have a seat. So how have you been? How was school? School was good. Okay. How was work? Work was okay. Everything okay. is fine. So how prepared are you for the trip? Um, I just told mommy and she told me that you're already aware of it. Actually, Mr. Roberts called me about it and I've sorted everything. Okay. Yeah, I've already made the payments and everything is okay. So the rest is up to you. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Yes, you're welcome, my daughter. And uh, remind me tomorrow morning so that I can give you your upkeep for the trip. All right. Uh, I think I should go and refresh. Already paid? So, Mr. it's got money from my parents already. How much could that be? Eve. Can you believe Mr. Roberts collected money from my parents? I don't know how much. I wonder why he behaves in such a way. Why would he do that when we already paid him? We need to just find out. Okay. Fine. Mr. Roberts, we need to talk. Alice, what's the matter? You took money from my parents. We already paid you for this trip. It was part of assuring your parents that the trip is legit. Naturally, it required some pain. That means we have to share this money. Are you kidding me? Since you already received money from us, we demand you share that money with us that you, you got from, from her parents. Listen, if you push this further, I will sabotage your trip and suspend all of you from school. Well, I'll tell my parents that I'm no longer interested in the trip and I will demand for their Wait. money. Mr. Robert, what's happening? 
Oh, sir, so we, we were done with the work and we're going to present it. Oh. Thank you, sir. Have a nice time. Yeah. Do you appreciate it? Thank you. Not so much. Okay, nice. nice to do it as well. Okay. Nice time. Okay, likewise. Guys, let's first go for the trip. Shall you with him on your back? Okay? Wow, finally. I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm gonna have fun with my friends. Good night. <laughs> Mwe <laughs> That was strange. Do you think he was telling the truth? Better safe than sorry. We better stick to the main trails. Agreed. We don't want to risk disappearing. It adds a bit of mystery to our adventures, doesn't it? Yeah, let's not risk that. We have ever seen it happening in movies. Let's stay alert. sounded like rustling. Maybe it's just a squirrel. Or maybe it's something else, guys. 
Let's stay alert. Let's keep going. Well, we're here now, Alice, and we're making sure you have the best time of your life. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. At least we made sure you don't sneak out. Like can meet your parents, right? Yeah, sure. I remember that time I tried to sneak into a movie theater with a fake ID. Yeah, and you got busted by the Asha who knew man. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the bad. Right? It was like... so embarrassing. <laughs> My cousin once convinced me to skip school and go fishing to a court by teacher. <laughs> it was hard for us. <laughs> Classic prank. You know, I really never got a chance to enjoy life like this. Well, we are now. I promise to show you happiness and introduce you to more fun. <laughs> so guys, can we play some game? Yeah. 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 Which game should we play? Life up!
So guys, we are going to play another game, mm -hmm. and that is hide and seek. Wow. Wow. And the first people too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Kathy and David. This place looks to be easy to be seen, eh? <laughs> they won't see us. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> we are dead. Okay, guys, mm. are you ready? Ready! Yeah. 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 Let's play. Okay. Come down, come down. Everyone, be alert, something is coming. Everyone, stay quiet and stay low. We're going to move the other side just. Quiet, mind your steps. Everyone stay calm. There might be nothing. I hope so. That sound was creepy. Whatever it is, we will go through it. Let's stick together. We should wait here a bit longer, just to be safe. Yeah. It's going to be okay, Alice. Okay, guys. Let's keep quiet and observe. Okay. Yes. Do not make any sudden movements. Okay. I, I, I regret coming here. Shh. Alice, Why it's did okay. I agree to this? It's okay to be scared. We're in the jungle and such sounds are common. We are safe now. Just breathe and stay calm. Okay? Maybe it was just an animal and, uh, and something else. No. I don't hear anything now. It's quiet. Let's wait a bit longer before we move. It's well, Alice. Stop panicking. Okay, guys, let's be alert, okay? Because we don't know what is outside there. I'm going to check it out. Stay here and wait for my signal. Right? Eve, let me come with you, because it's risky alone. I need you to stay here, Frank. Trust me, I'll be fine, okay? Okay, be safe. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Just stay focused, okay? Oh, 
could she be coming? Don't worry. She'll be fine. Hey guys, it's clear. Come out slowly and stay low. For now, yes, let's move quietly and stick together. We should be okay here. Keep your voices down and stay close. Guys, may I go for a short call? Be quick and watch your moves. too long. Why is it David coming back? Maybe he was badly off. David! Shh! Eve! Hurry up, please! Aren't you shouting? Guys, let's move slowly and try to find him. Are you serious? No. Ah. How? Ah. How come she's not here? Hank! Oh, not again! Hank! Hank! Okay, guys, where was Hank? Hey. Remember what the other boy said about this place? It's now happening. I think we got confused with the strange sound and ended up in this mysterious spot. I'm confused. Why can't we find them? Maybe we should call Mr. Roberts. He can know what to do. That's a good idea. We need help finding David and Hank. Can you please help me with the phone? Hello, Mr. Roberts. Who is this? It's Eve. Yes, please. We need help. We are in trouble. What's the problem? 
How can David are missing? Turn on your GPS and location services. Okay, please. So guys, he's coming. Don't move until we hear from him. But we didn't mean to. We just wanted to take an adventure here. Please, we need your help. That area is dangerous. I can't come to you there. You need to get out there immediately. I don't know how, but you figure out. But David and Hank are missing. We don't know where they are. What do we do now? We have no any other choice. We need to run for our lives and find safety. We stick together and we don't stop for anything. Everyone listen to me. We can do this. What about David and Hank? We'll come back for them when we find help along the way. Right now our priority is to get out of here. So guys, we are taking this forward. Straight no turning back. Yeah. On a count of one, two, three, let's go. a terrible nightmare about this trip. It's not a good idea for us to go. It was just a dream. We've planned everything out perfectly. I, 
I know, but I, I have a bad feeling towards it. Alice, please. Don't let one bad dream ruin this for us. It's too risky for us. Let's abandon this. Alice, please. Yeah. Students, why are you roaming around? Uh huh. We're actually looking for you. Me? So, what's your problem? Sir, we just wanted to let you know that we cancelled that trip and we need our money back. Yo, kids. Mm -hmm. You like joking with me. Is that the reason as far you're looking for me? Does it look like a joke, sir? Are you trying to threaten me? You know, Mr. Roberts, we made a deal, but we never went for that trip. So please, refund the money. <laughs> you kids, if you decided to cancel the trip, it's none of my business. You're not going to get any single penny from me. So, Mr. Roberts, do you know that we have information about you? A lot. We know that there are students that give you money, fees direct, and it doesn't reach its whole account. Are you happy to hear that? Mm -hmm. And hmm, we know that there are students that you aid sneaking out for night dunkers. <laughs> You're surprised? We know of your affairs with students. Keep it surprised. So, tell us, are we finishing this? Or you want us to take it to the office? information about all of you all of you everything you have been planning now i want to know more from you yourselves tell me today first you just want our money from mr roberts that's all so which man is this mr roberts what is this man all about can i know more <laughs> mr roberts you talk i'm listening it's not like it's not like that it's it's different from what they're saying. Yes, sir. Well, man, let me tell you the truth. I wanted to go for a trip. And his parents are so strict. So, we asked Mr. Roberts to cover us up and make it real like it's a school trip. And he agreed. He asked us for something. We gave him 500 k. Are you for real? Yeah. On top of that, he went ahead and asked for 500,000 from Alice's parents. Are you serious? We decided to cancel that trip because of security reasons. So, sir, we want Mr. Roberts to refund our money. Now, I have had everything that you've spoken. And now, you know, I already made decisions before you came in. 
because Madame Navide told me about this. So, Mr. Roberts, I'm very disappointed to hear about all this news. And for this reason, you have gone against the laws of the school and the ethical standards of the school. For the students, you're going to be suspended. Because this act is against the laws of the school. As a school, we are very disappointed. So, students, go and pick all your belongings, come here for letters of suspension, and find your way out of this school. Go pick your things and get out. No, don't speak. My word is final. Get your things, come, get your letters, and go home. No? Let's go. Get out. Get out. So, Mr. Robert, I am very disappointed in you. You're next to me. Uh, no, it's sad. It's, it's no, sad. let me tell you. You are going against the standards in the school. And now, for that reason, you are fired. No. And your contract is terminated today. As a school, we are very disappointed. And even you have tarnished the name to the parents of the students. It is not a simple thing. It has tarnished the name of the school. Now, for that very reason, you're not going to continue working with us. No, like, Professor, I just had some small issues. No, 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 no. no. Mr. I mean, Robert, I'm... this is, this is alcohol. This is so barbaric to a school like this. We have made a name as a school. Professor, I just had no, some No, no, no. It's okay. That is all I have spoken, and that is my final one, Mr. Yes. I'm sorry, just get out.